What's going on, everyone? It finally dropped. They delayed it. So, I don't know why they delayed it. Probably because of the amount of content that they came out. But Most Feared's finally here. And, yeah. I don't know if they've updated... No, no, uh... Image there. But, the amount of stuff that they dropped into this. We got our season tickets. Which, we weren't supposed to get until tomorrow. We ended up getting them... When they drop most feared, which is nice. Uh, we got training pack. We got select offers here. Which is just, I think the only difference is this new Angry Champs opportunity pack. Which wasn't even expected, honestly. This contains two 82 pluses. Uh, an 84 overall platinum elite player. Or a 90 overall angry runs player. So, worst comes to worst, you at least make like 120k, I want to say that 84 quick sell is. But, that's about a $25 pack. I'm not too sure if that's really worth it. Especially when you come and you look at everything that came out for Most Feared. So we got the standard Most Feared store. Which has quite a bit. We have the training pack that we uh, talked about. We have the standard $100 offer here. Which contains 10 Most Feared packs. An 87 overall Most Feared player. And a 90 overall Most Feared champ. Or LTD. Um, so not only did the LTDs go up in overall, all the set cards, like the set champion cards, are 90 overall. So, yeah, we got a huge, huge upgrade. All these players are going to be absolutely insane. And not to mention, as always with most feared, come October 31st, Halloween, they turn into monsters or they get boost of some kind for... Um, usually it used to be just for Halloween, but now I think it lasts a couple days. I might be wrong. Usually it lasts at least like two days, I think. But, so, for our 87 plus here, we got a 15% chance out of 90 and 100% at an 87. That's, it's not too, too bad. And then for the 90, it doesn't give us the odds. So, we'll give them credit and let's say it's hopefully at least a 50-50 shot, right? And then for the standard packs here, got 100% at an 82, 38% uh, at an 84+, plus, and then 6.9% at an 87. That was kind of rough. I wish that was a 10% on the 87, but it is what it is. You do have the training packs here, which, go ahead and open one of these. Just an 82+, plus. see the animation. Oh, and we get an 84. That is a sick animation. They're all standing around, looks like zombies, and then we get a like a like a I think that was like a fog and a cloud or something like that. I was gonna say we do have a one coin offer 84 BND. Okay. All right. I, again, I like the animation. The animation's really nice. Um, then we get a most feared 70% off pack. Contains 284 most feared players and an 270 most feared players. Alright, why not? We'll go ahead and open that real quick. Alright, so 82 there. I wonder what the big animation is going to be. You got our two golds. On two 82s. Alright. So that's just a standard most feared pack. Just discounted. Uh, we do have a $25 offer here. This is the Haunted Hollows pack. Containing two 87 plus most feared players. And then four 82 plus most feared players. See, we got a 100% at an 87. We get a 30% chance at a 90. That's not too, too bad. And then I think that's all it says. Yeah, those are all the odds we're going to get on that. Get two of those. And then we have a step-up offer here. Which, uh, I guess we're going to have to wait for the graphic. Hopefully, when they update the graphic for the store, it shows us all the steps in this offer. But... Either way, we're going to come back and open this in a separate video, but this containing right off rip for 150 points in 87 overall BND. That's not too bad. That's not a bad way to start. It is BND, but 
I mean, could be worse. So, and then, yeah, we got five of the $100 offers, in case you wanted to go super crazy with it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be, this is going to be at least a two-part promo. It might be even a three-part, I don't know, depending on if they do something on Halloween itself. Um, but we do have this whole separate store where we can spend our... Uh, I'm not even sure what the currency is. Most feared upgrade tokens. Fear. Okay, so the currency is just fear. Alright, I like that. And then you can buy upgraded players. So you can buy this 85 London Dickerson. And then you can upgrade him all the way up to a 90. That's pretty cool. I think he's the only one right now. They might add some more. Or you could buy a Most Feared Terrifying pack containing the following. A 90 overall Most Feared player, 87 overall Most Feared player, or you basically get your fear back. Okay. Alright, that's cool. You get five of those. Honestly, this is pretty nice. And then we added... It's probably got its own season pass. Yeah, so we're going to get fear. We either get an 82 or an 82 plus. Some more fear. An 82 or an 84 plus B and D. Get an upgrade token. For the mystery player. Oh no, it's Taysom Hill or the mystery player. You can choose. Uh, we should be getting a free Taysom Hill. I haven't gotten that one yet. That'll probably come when they update the graphic. Alright, so at level 13, we're not going so we get a most feared spooky pack. And some more fear. I think that was the only thing I skipped over. And we get an 85 overall BND Devon Diablo. Alright. Not bad. Another token. A lot of BND players. They need to... If they're going to give us like a bunch of straight up BND players, they should at least make them that we could put them in the sets. Another token. Most feared scary pack, and then we end in fear. Alright, so we get a couple free packs. An 85 BND player. Nothing too special, honestly, in the in the season pass itself. And then, yeah, we got two. Most feared 13th anniversary. On the spooky 13th anniversary of most feared, look back at all the frights of the years prior. Alright. So we get them get up to 52 stars here. It doesn't say what we earn for rewards. And we also get 36 stars here. So that's so... Okay. I don't know. Maybe if they're bugged out. Usually we get rewards by doing the solos as well. So I guess we're going to have to go back to the objectives here and see what we get for stars. So we just get a bunch of XP. Complete the sets, you know, stats. Have to have at least two most feared players. Not too bad. Win games in the Sinister Selection Draft. Yeah, they added a bunch of new events. So if we go to, it should be house rules, right? No. Nope, it's not under head to head either. So where is this event? Solo battles? I think it might actually be. In where is it? No, I guess the only way to get too much draft is an ultimate team, right? No, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Do they just get rid of it? Oh, finally. We do have our two packs to open. 
I guess we'll open this, and I'm not sure where they put the event. The draft returns with a most feared twist. Uh, recruit monsters and take on other teams to earn rewards such as a 90 overall most feared champion. Log in each release to earn one sinister selection entry ticket. Okay. So guaranteed, confirmed, we are going to get more. Get our token there. This is the 13th anniversary celebrated by recruiting the rosters of dreadfully strong monsters. From nine different factions, yes. And then we have nine different champions. Uh, you can recruit either Taysom Hill or a mysterious question mark player. And then complete most feared content to upgrade them to a 90 overall. And then... And then this is the players. So, we either get a... Unknown middle linebacker. Taysom Hill tight end, unknown quarter cornerback, Taysom Hill, oh no, unknown D tackle, Taysom Hill halfback, Taysom Hill quarterback, or Taysom Hill wide receiver. So Taysom Hill gets four, and he gets three. All right, and his is all defense, so it's at least a defensive player. I'm not too sure... I'm not too sure who we're going to take. We're going to skip out on this pack. You guys let me know what I should do. I'm kind of leaning towards the mystery player because why not? And then we also get a ticket pack. I'm pretty sure this is needed for the event itself. Yeah, entry ticket. For the Sinister Selection Draft event reward. Yeah, now we just need to find wherever that event's taking place. But I'm pretty sure that covers everything. Still no graphic yet, but we'll give them time. Did just drop, so yeah, a lot of content, a lot of packs. Um, we got our season tickets. Didn't mean to go to sets. I wanted to go to catalog. Did they have? All right, so we do have that updated right now. LTDs, AJ Brown, Micah Parsons. And then we got, like I said, nine different 90 overalls. Uh, these are the regular most feared 90 overall champions. And then we have the um, faction, I guess. The nine different faction champions. So, yeah, we have a lot. Uh, how many exactly? Each of these are six. So 12, oh, all right, 12, 14 if you count these 91s, but just as a, as a, like, wow, just boom. Day one, 12 new 90 overall champions, and then we get two LTDs of a 91 as well. Absolutely insane. Market's probably taken a huge hit today, but yeah, so far that's everything that's come out. What to do first, um, I mean, if you have the points, probably go open some packs. If not, then I'm not sure. Usually we get rewards for the solos. I would say jump into the solos, but they might be bugging right now. But, yeah, that's all, all we got. I mean, we finally got our intro packs. But, yeah, let me know who I should take. I'm kind of leaning towards the mystery player. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are going to be using that uh, Taysom Hill just because he's get, like, he got, like, five different positions but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like hit that sub button and i'll catch you on the next one till then peace